We put these everywhere. Traffic calming is the name of the game. And people intuitively slow down when they see these signs. Hi, I'm Gabe Klein, the author of the forthcoming book Startup City, available October 15th on Island Press. So one thing we did in D.C. and Chicago, we were very aggressive about it, was not only automated enforcement, putting in cameras, uh, speed cameras, red light cameras, um, but also putting up signs to let people know uh, that we have laws that, that they need to follow, that there's a $250 fine if you don't stop in a crosswalk. Um, we put up, I think, 600 of those in Chicago. They're all over D.C. And you know what? It's not that people don't want to obey the law. Sometimes they literally don't know. And so having very clear signage consistently everywhere is important. And as we added more center, uh, you know, mid-block crosswalk, um, new ped-only streets, it becomes very important to educate people on, on the rules of the road. This is one of the new locations for stop sign cameras. So we have, you know, lots of automated enforcement. We have lots of red light cameras, speed cameras, but now we're the first in the country to have stop sign cameras. That was introduced after I left. We don't actually go out of our way to notify people that there are cameras, because psychologically we want people to think there could be one at any turn, that you should obey the law everywhere. And I think that's a really important part of the strategies. And anyway, we've seen a dramatic decrease in speeding in the city, and we've had an 83% decline in fatalities over a decade, uh, which is amazing. So another thing about traffic calming that people don't necessarily think about is the importance of actually placing things in the right of way. I happen to live over there in Columbia Heights. This is Howard University. Sherman Avenue here was the dividing line. It was a bit of a highway. People didn't walk between these neighborhoods. Um, and that happens in a lot of cities. The big arterials divide neighborhoods. And so when we did the streetscape, we did a lot of things, ornamental lightings, some places we widened the sidewalks, put in granite. But one of the most important things was to put in uh, a central median, a planted central median with irrigation that stayed beautiful, uh, had bushes and trees, and slowed people down. I can tell you that when I moved here in 1995, people blew through stop signs people sped, you see people doing 50, 60, even 70 miles an hour on like the, the major arterials. You don't see that anymore. People behave um, because the cultures change and it's more people biking and walking, more people taking transit, it's automated enforcement, it's the marketing that we've done in the city. And you know, that's why we've seen such a steep decline in, in traffic fatalities of all types.